You know, I wish I would have had this information when I first started out. Instead, I spent almost 15 years struggling financially. But by applying the exact same secrets of the millionaire mind that you're about to learn here, I became very wealthy and now you can do that too. I want to share with you something called the process of manifestation or how we create our results. Your thoughts lead to your feelings, which lead to your actions, and all of that leads to your results. Now, each of us has a personal money and success blueprint already ingrained in our subconscious mind. It is this blueprint, more than anything and everything else combined, that will determine your financial life. What that means is you can be the best business person, the best negotiator, you can be the best marketer, but if your subconscious money blueprint isn't preset for a high level of success, you will never amass a large amount of money. And if by chance you do, you will somehow manage to lose it. The good news is you can actually change your money blueprint. By the way, you've already started by acknowledging you have a money blueprint and by making the declarations you're learning today. So. Let's talk about how your blueprint is formed. The blueprint is formed primarily based on the programming you received in the past, especially as a young child. Isn't it true that certain cultures have a certain way of thinking and dealing with money and that other cultures have a completely different way of thinking and dealing with money? Does a child come out of the womb doing money that way or were they taught how to do money? The fact is we are all taught how to do money and the issue is that most of us were taught by people who either didn't have a lot of money or they had a lot of emotional issues around it. And their ways of thinking became our ways of thinking. All right, let's talk about how we're conditioned. Three primary methods of conditioning. There's verbal programming, there's modeling, and there's specific incidents. Verbal programming, that's all about what did you hear when you were young? What messages did you get? Modeling. That's all about what did you see when you were young and specific incidents. What did you experience when you were young around money, success, wealth, and rich people? Let's start with verbal programming. What were the phrases or messages that you heard about money and success and rich people when you were growing up? In addition to the generic messages that we heard, we also heard about stereotype messages. For example, if you're a man, Maybe the message that you somehow got was that your job in life is to be a provider. And if you're not financially successful, you're not a real man. Now, whether you became financially successful or not, how has it felt to have that pressure on you? What have you missed out of in your life? Your family, your fun, your inner peace because of the stress of what you were conditioned to believe about putting bread on the table. And yet, this is simply a blueprint you've been running. With the lessons you're learning in this program, it can change. In my experience, when you've got money handled, it positively affects every other part of your life. So maybe the message you got was, you don't need a lot of money because when you retire, the government is going to take care of you. Maybe that made some sense in the past, but as most of us know, the government is almost bankrupt, and I suspect that it won't be long before the social security bin is bankrupt too. Then what are you going to do? Newsflash, trusting your financial life to someone else is not a strategy for wealth. So here's a wealth step that will help you change your money blueprint. Are you ready? First, it's important for you to know that all change begins with awareness. Very difficult to change something unless you know that it exists. I want you to take a piece of paper and I want you to create a T-chart. And I'm gonna ask you to write down on this side all of the non-supportive statements you heard or the messages you got about wealth and money and rich people when you were young. All the ones that are non-supportive, I want you to write on this side. And then for each one of those, I want you to write a much more empowering point of view. Now, I'm not saying that this is your point of view today. It may or may not be, but objectively, a much more empowering point of view. Let's see if we have some examples over here. Here's a good example. Rich people are greedy. And we can change that to rich people are generous. 
Here's another one. It takes money to make money. Let's change that to it takes creativity to make money.